Let me say this as directly as I can. Who you were is not what you are, and what you are is not what you will be. We have all sinned and fallen short of the mark, but our past does not determine our present or define our future. The Lord in his infinite grace has chosen to make us living stones, walking monuments of Christ's endless love and faithfulness to us for the purpose of revealing his love and purpose to others through our testimony. The monuments of the past that exist in our lives are not there to remind us of our failures, missed opportunities, and wasted potential, but to put the Father's love into proper context. They stand as a permanent reminder that, our, uh, that at our worst, he loved us the most. Monuments don't define who we are. They remind us of who we were before the Lord graciously saved us. They're testaments of how deep Christ's love stretched to reach down and rescue us. And they exist to inform others that no matter where they currently are, they too can be received with his full redemption, love, and grace that we currently enjoy. So don't look back in shame and regret. Look back in wonder and awe that at our lowest point, he carried us to places we could never reach on our own. And look forward in joy knowing that the Lord who loved us this much has even greater plans in store for us. We all have parts of our past that we would prefer to leave behind, but these do not exist as monuments to our shameful faithlessness, but to his endless faithfulness.